Hi everyone, welcome to the Playful Garden at Brody Castle. Uh, as we look around, I'll take you around the Playful Garden. This is the old wall garden. Uh, this was developed in and opened in 2018, uh, April 2018. Uh, this was developed under a project, um, massive new building with a new cafe and shop and visitor centre. Uh, big open space with a new orchard put in, a national daffodil collection set out behind. Uh, and then we have the playful part. So we have a 26 foot giant white bunny rabbit on the mound. And as we go through to the other half of the garden, we go through a massive tunnel, like a big rabbit warren. As you can see, there is light guiding you, just in case it does get dark. You follow the big hole. And straight away in front of us, we have the mirror totems. Mirror totems uh, reflect all different angles of the garden and uh, throw everything off. To our left, we have the spinning chairs. To our right, a replica of the castle. Uh, the reason why I'm standing here before I go straight out is because it is torrential rain showers today. Um, doesn't mean we stop work. Um, we're still closed at the moment under the uh, COVID situation, uh, but we still work and we're still getting on. We have a giant table and chairs. The reason behind the table and chairs is the last laird in Ninny and Brody uh, used to bring George. Uh, George was a brass orangutan, sits in our part of the castle. He uh, used to bring it up to dinner when he used to have dinner parties with his friends as it was bad luck to have 13 around the dinner table. So hence why we have a massive dining room table and chairs and that's meant to rep uh, George the orangutan. We have two unicorn it's here. Um, again, something linked with the castle. Um, you can just about see, I'll bring my finger in, just over here, that dot there, that is a misting and rainbow LED unit. Um, so when it's turned on, when we're open, it mists and creates rainbows. So once again, there's the mirror totem. So as I work around, they move around. Castle again. And this is our real garden. It's just a water garden with an island in the middle. One of the biggest things that kids love. What I do love, we we'll always leave the grass long up the top on the mound and trim that off. As you can see, a bit of wind today. You get the nice grasses. Uh, drifting with the wind which is always really nice so as we come round we have some musical instruments uh, these are you know again used highly by a lot of kids uh, really good fun especially when we're working in the garden it's nice you know those kids come along and they start playing um, making tunes and experimenting is always good fun you can see various different ones in different shapes different touches this one you tap on the top and this one you just play along and you know there's there's song books so you can play along um, here we have our grass maze this grass is canamagrossis carl foster it gives us a uh, a red autumn tint um, so it's a really nice grass maze doesn't get too high maximum shoulder height once flowering just see the flower tips coming on there That's the back into the daffodil collection that way. Now I'm just going to walk you through. This is a one of our meadows. So we have two parts of meadows, um, three mini meadow bits within the garden. This one has got the daisies and various others. It's not quite as up as the other two, um, but we'll show you that. And lots of the young new trees put in within the garden. Uh, we have a birch, we have cherries, um, all different with the old apple trees remaining as a key feature. So here, whisper dishes, a um, bit like a tin can with a bit of string. You speak into that the little hole and it bounces the noise back across to the other whisper dish as someone listens along. So this is one of our other meadows, um, double line of sorbus, again with the berries in the lovely red berries in the uh, autumn with all the meadow, mainly daisies taken over just in here. Um, apple trees again. So you can see all the old apple trees have been pruned. They're in fruit this year again. So we hope to have them blossoming. Uh, well, they've blossomed already, sorry. And uh, we hope to have fruit off them. And again, we'll use the produce or we'll send the uh, produce. The produce normally goes to our bakers. Um, 
they make apple crumble slices, various things with us with that cakes that then go into our coffee shop where visitors can buy on site. As I span back around, we have our, uh, this is called our meadow or our maze labyrinth. Um, another new, just a feature to use the grass. Again, a bit of a meadow area and to uh, something for the kids to run around with. Um, lots of young hedging, as you can see. And that's the other section mirroring on both sides. We have the sorbuses over there with the meadow and same again on that side. So we have the maze there. As I walk back round, walking towards the very bottom of the garden now. Um, this is our long border. Uh, the team are in here weeding today. Um, like I say, not the nicest weather, but the weeds and the grow plants are still growing. And what a stunning uh, display. I'll just stop for a second and let you appreciate all the poppies. Um, none of these poppies were planted. They've all just come up this season. Um, no seed, this is nothing to do with us. Uh, we left, we've just left it because they come up. We was actually gonna split and divide the long border and put them in here. Um, but yeah, so absolutely stunning. Really lucky to uh, be able to have them. So you can see the border's just coming up. This is great summer color in here. Uh, the centuria's on its way. The black sorbus there throughout the border giving us our height. The tree of peonies has just gone over. Um, we've got some bronze fennel in the middle. Again, that can, got to keep an eye on that because it can be a prolific cedar. Um, so just as soon as the flower is almost done, we tend to cut the flowers off just to stop the, the seeds. Although there's still plenty of seeds within the garden. Lovely cracking blue iris under the uh, tree peony there. This is Chris, he's one of our part-time gardeners. <laughs> With a dandelion. And he's got a massive dandelion, as you can see, um, due to us just starting to really trying to get on top of everything, the volume of weeds. We'll just take a few steps back, you'll see the difference where Chris has been and where he's done. So they're almost finished this. It's taken us a week with three to four staff members on it most days just to do this one bed. <laughs> 